wanted to ask you, um, all this sort of brilliant data, powerful software, uh, efficiencies, uh, the move to automated buying and selling of media, where does creativity fit in and where does it need to fit in? Um, I think it, it fits in at the point where at the moment what happens is that creators and user experience people when we're thinking about how we build that digital experience and all those different touch points. Um, I think the, the current sort of status quo is that the creators and user experience people kind of think that they have a perfect world view of what the end experience will be. Um, and what they want to put down on paper and discuss with clients is, is that view because they are the, the domain experts, so to, say, so to speak. I think um, where data comes into play is it really kind of shakes up the whole kind of um, status quo and kind of staid way, old way, old world way of doing kind of creative experiences. Because what we need to do is work out how the customer will react to that experience but with their data in it. So the real, the more real the data is, the more kind of up-to-date the data is in that experience and the creative process. Um, and to understand really how people react when they see their own data in that experience is, um, is a major, has a major part to play moving forward in the future. I don't think it's really there yet. We are kind of pushing it at Razorfish. Um, and we do that by getting the creative teams as I said, I sit with the, um, with the executive creative director, the head of strategy, and also the head of media. So we share an office together. So the debate is constantly flowing between what the creative experience on the front end needs to be, how that's driven by data, and then what's the view of that data, which is defined by the strategic leads and also the media leads. Tell me how things are shaping up in EMEA versus the US in terms of, um, you know, I think uh, we are, we're a little bit behind in some respects. I think we're a little bit um, sort of, we embrace it a little bit more in, from a definitely UK perspective. Uh, Germany is a little bit behind the UK in terms of kind of what they do with data, how they um, commoditize that in terms of the experience piece. Um, in terms of North America, I think they are ahead in the terms of that they have a lot more bigger budgets, larger volumes of data, which means that you can get much more kind of discernible insight out of it. Uh, so I think that, again, technology is kind of catching up. It's getting there. There's a lot of players in the market. Um, I think in terms of that kind of like VOD programmatic approach to content, I think in terms of the kind of the ad segment and then how we target, it needs to be, uh, it needs to be chunked up in a lot more kind of bite size so we can adapt the message even within that kind of that kind of VOD um, ad segment based on the data that the user has been watching, what they've done while they've been watching the program, uh, if they're on an app, what they've been doing kind of pre and post kind of view, um, what they've done previously, try and hook that up to all different types of data sources so we can give a much better 360 view of the customer. And then from a VOD perspective, kind of trying to chunk up those messages so that we can mix and match those depending on what the target audience has been looking at kind of pre and post the ad segment. Well, from my own personal point of view, uh, I've seen or I've heard a lot of people talk about kind of programmatic from the kind of the, the, the ad spend and then how do you create the advertising that goes into all of those different segments. Um, I think some people are missing the point a little bit because they, they're all focused on the journey to the site. I think there's only really Adobe who are kind of tackling um, what you do when you actually get to the site. And I think that whole piece needs to be a lot more joined up. I kind of still hear people talking around behaviors and experiences, but just in the context of sort of um, off their own brand sort of real estate. And I think that piece needs to be joined up more. I haven't seen a lot of people, even in some of the, the kind of speaker slots, a lot of people tackling that. It's all about the journey to the destination of both the, the journey to and then when they get there and then post when they leave again.